Hi, I'm Dr. Wendy Wagner and I just wanted to give a short and general overview about prenatal care in non-high risk women. So generally when we start the OB visits is eight weeks. Um, at that time, normally between six and eight weeks, there's an ultrasound to date the pregnancy and check viability. We do blood work at that point, which I'll go over in a different video, all the prenatal blood work. Um, and then we introduce you to the practice. I did another video about the 12 week visit. Basically, that's the next ultrasound. Um, and there's not another ultrasound until 20 weeks. At the 12 week ultrasound, uh, there's possible blood work to rule out Down syndrome and other genetic issues um, and check what we call the nuchal lucency uh, on the back of the baby's neck, which can show other issues. The 20-week ultrasound is the anatomy scan, and that's a more in-depth ultrasound looking at all different parts of the baby, including the, the bones, the heart, the measurements, etc. So, 12-week ultrasound, 16 weeks is a general visit. 20 week ultrasound, and then pretty general prenatal care after that. As far as what happens when you come in for an OB visit, unless you're having an ultrasound, it's basically fairly straightforward. We check vital signs, including weight, um, your blood pressure, and we get a urine sample. You might wonder why we do all these things. Well, blood pressure is to screen for something called preeclampsia to see if your blood pressure is too high, which can be dangerous during pregnancy. The, uh, the weight we want to check to make sure you're gaining enough weight, uh, you're not gaining too much weight, and just look at it over the entire pregnancy. Uh, many people ask how much weight should be gained during the pregnancy. Usually I tell people 20 to 30 pounds if they're within the uh, normal weight range. That's going to vary how much is uh, gained at different points in the pregnancy. As far as the urine sample, every time you come in you leave a urine sample. Uh, most OBGYN practices check it with a um, urine dipstick like this um, and it tests for protein and glucose. Why protein and glucose? Protein because with preeclampsia, as I mentioned before, you're going to have protein in your urine very often. So that's something, another, another screen, even for low risk patients. As far as the glucose with uh, diabetes, gestational diabetes, the tip off for that may be that you have glucose, what we call spilling glucose in your urine. So that's why we check that every time. If we think you have a urinary tract infection, then we'll use a different kind of dipstick which shows um, white blood cells, etc., and possibly send your urine off for a urine culture. As far as the other uh, visits, at this point you've gotten very spoiled by getting frequent ultrasounds, and then usually there's not another ultrasound scheduled unless we're looking for something specific. So, say 24 weeks. You come in, you get your vital signs, you leave your urine sample, and then the doctor will measure your belly, what we call the fundal height. So, what happens is, it's a very rudimentary measurement, but we measure the height from the pubic bone to the top of the fundus, the top of the uterus. Now, very interestingly, it's usually right about the amount in centimeters as you are in weeks. So if somebody is 28 weeks pregnant, we would expect their fundal height to be 28 centimeters. Now, is it always exact? No, but it's something that we can measure across time. In other words, if I see a patient at 28 weeks and they're measuring 28, I see them again at 32 weeks, they're still measuring 28, then I may get an ultrasound to look at the size of the baby. Um, in addition, we check whether you have any swelling in your legs, um, and we also listen to the fetal heart rate with a Doppler. Um, this is just one kind, it's a pocket Doppler, but basically it gets the baby's heart rate. Uh, we're not really interested in exactly what the heart rate is, but just that it's within the normal range. So those are these visits. Um, 24 weeks, 28 weeks, you get the glucose test, and that is to screen for gestational diabetes. So, glucola, it is a screening test for diabetes that occurs only during pregnancy, people that have not been diabetic prior to pregnancy, and everyone gets it at 28 weeks. Basically, drink the entire 10 ounces in five minutes, and then you come to get your blood drawn uh, an hour later, an hour after finishing the drink, and if the blood glucose level is above a certain level, then you go on to a second test, which is the three-hour glucose test, which we'll discuss 
separately. So then you have your 32 week and your 34 week visit. Again, vitals, measurement, etc. Then we hit 36 weeks. 36 weeks is when most practices will start talking to you about labor, um, may do a cervical exam. You also get a group B strep test. Group B strep is often called GBS, and basically some women have it and some don't. It's not as though you have an infection, it's just if it's present at the end of pregnancy, we give women antibiotics so that it doesn't get passed to the baby during delivery. Cotton swab, vaginally, uh, doesn't require a speculum, but just vaginally and then um, a little bit rectally. It uh, doesn't hurt, it just feels a little bit funny. We um, put that in here. And then send it off to the lab and it comes back positive or negative. Then we see you weekly until you either deliver or you hit your due date and passed and then different practices handle that differently. There'll be a different video on post-date pregnancy, meaning past the due date and what the possibilities are of management after the due date. So that's a general overview of prenatal care. Hopefully there's no issues and it's just very straightforward and you come in for all your regular exams, you deliver beautifully and there's no complications.